what time it is. Yes. <laughs> it's it's time to watch Daddy Joe's Treehouse with me, Kingsley. Welcome back to Danny Joe's Treehouse. Today we're talking about feelings and how you can share exactly how you're feeling on the inside, no matter what. No matter what. It's weird, my my bucket seems to be stuck up there. One second, see if I can. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm Silly Billy. Ah! Uh... Who's the clown that goes around town finding things to do? He's lots of fun for everyone. Yeah, you know who. Silly Billy, Silly Billy. A friend to you and you. Gee, I hope you like me too. We're the kids of the world and we cannot tell a lie. Every time we give Billy a light, falls up from the sky. What'd they say? Silly Billy, Silly Billy. A friend to you and you. Gee, I hope you like me too. <laughs> Do you like me? Yeah! <laughs> I guess, um, I guess we'll see you up there. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you're old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day, and nature is calling you. Hi, you kiddo. How are you today? You know, I thought we might talk about feelings, but we've got a surprise guest instead. What was that clown's name? Silly Billy! That's me! Do you like me? Hi, Billy. Welcome to our treehouse. I'm Danny Joe. Okay. Today on the Silly Billy Show, we're at a treehouse. Ah, oh, with this guy. Danny Joe, uh, I, I was thinking that today we could talk about feelings. There's so many different kinds, and you can feel more than one feeling at a time. Yeah, I mean, I like being silly sometimes too, but sometimes I also feel shy or serious or sad. <laughs> You're not going to get many likes with serious and sad. Now, today we're learning about Colors! Yay! <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Hey, you know what? I, I like learning about colors, too. That's, that's great. Maybe we can talk about feelings and colors. Yeah, now you're getting it. I see so many beautiful colors in this treehouse. Why, there's red. Yellow. Ooh. And blue! Orange. What? Well, you said blue, but that's orange. Oh no! Oh no! I messed up! And now they won't like me anymore! Oh! Ooh, it's it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. That's, that's just how we learn. I, I know that's how I do it. Don't panic! <laughs> I know what to do! Try again? Practice makes better. No! Be extra silly so they still like me! Do you like me? Whoa, Billy, are you are you okay? You know you don't have to be silly to get your friends to like you. You can 
Just be yourself, however you're feeling. Did you say we should go on a field trip to the playground? N no, I said you should. <laughs> Yay, me too. Do you like me? Let's let's follow Billy down to the playground. And uh, you know what? Let's pretend that he meets Kingsley and Pixie Belle, and they all take the time to become real friends. No, 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 Oh yeah, it's um, it's Mr. Bumblebee. No, not the Bumblebee. Yes, it is. I can see him chasing that clown. That's not just any clown. That's silly Billy. He's famous. Oh my gosh, he's coming over here. He's coming over here. How do I look? How do I look? Look like Kingsley. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm totally fanboying out. I'm totally fanboying out. Oh, is it is it on me? Is it still on me? M Mr. Clown, excuse me, excuse me. Um, if you just hold really still and take some deep breaths, Mr. Bumblebee will leave you alone. Oh, good job, Billy. Good job. Oh, I'm such a huge fan. I really like you. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Kingsley, it is not polite to throw balls at people if they're not ready to play. No, 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 you don't get it. Every time we give Billy our likes, balls drop from the sky. Oh, I did it. Do you like me? Do I like you? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. I like all of your work. In fact, in episode 3672, when you, when you slipped on that... <laughs> When you slipped on that banana peel, <laughs> and then and then he picked it up and he showed it he showed it to the camera and he said yellow. <laughs> I smashed that like button so hard. Oh, oh, one second, one second. Thank you. It's always nice to meet a fan. <laughs> uh. So, Mr. Billy, I, I would like to welcome you to the playground. Um, this is our Royal Majesty, Kingsley. We've met. <laughs> and I'm Pixie Bell, the leader of the playground. Pop it! Um, yeah, I, I don't really like being labeled. Uh, I'm much more than just one thing, but it does take time to really get to know someone. Oh, no! I made you upset, and now you won't like me! <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Quick, here, throw this ball at his head so he knows you still like him. I will do no such thing. I, I might hurt him. I show people I like them by getting to know who they are on the inside. Um, Mr. Billy, how does it make you feel when all those balls drop on your head? Feelings? Oh, way to go, Pixie Bell. Now you broke him. I feel... Yes? I feel... Like it's time to play the feelings game! <laughs> oh! Oh, I know this game. It's a classic. It's a classic. It happened in uh, episode 8,422. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, let's see what he's doing here. Watch watch carefully. He's very good at this. Um, uh, I know this one. I know this one. Don't tell me. Uh, constipated. No. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. Um, oh, sad. 
Sad, you're so sad. Yes, yay me. <laughs> Here you go. Ugh, I like you. Um, excuse me, but I wasn't talking about playing a game. I really do want to know how you're feeling inside, Mr. Billy. Shh, shh. The artist is working. Just watch him do his thing. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Oh, you're mad. Mad. Oh, bravo, bravo. He's so mad. I like. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going right into the next one, Pixie. Oh, <laughs> what is it? Oh, he's happy. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Just great work. Just great work. Look at him go. Oh, he's so happy. I'm going to get another ball. I have to go to the ballroom. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I like you so much. I'm <laughs> Oh, gosh. Excuse me, Mr. Billy. You're a very good clown, but I was asking about how you were feeling inside. I really want to know how you're feeling. But I, I want you to like me. Well, I'd like to get to know you better so we can become real friends. Do you like it when all those balls fall on your head? No one ever asked me if I like it. I, Well, I, I know when I act silly, it makes people happy, and I want to be liked, but I don't like it when the balls hit me on the head. If you can't find the words to describe how you're feeling, uh, try acting it out like before. Playing is a really good way to show people how you feel when you don't have the words. Hmm. Oh, I see. You're moving your body in kind of the same way you were moving when the bumblebee was chasing you. Based on the way you're acting right now, I'd say that maybe you're feeling um, frustrated or annoyed or, or maybe a bit anxious about what will happen next. I don't think I have those words yet. How do you spell anxious? Um, I'm coming! Don't worry, I'm back! I'm back! I like you! Ugh. Hey, uh, Kingsley, do you really like me? Well, well, you know I do. I think Mr. Billy is trying to talk about his feelings. And he's trying really hard. And you just need to listen, Kingsley. Ugh. Okay, I'll allow it. Proceed, silly Billy. Oh, Kingsley, I, I want you to like me, and, and sometimes I do like being silly, but maybe um, if you really like me, you don't have to throw balls at my head all the time. It uh, it makes me feel, oof, what's that word? Anxious. But, but that's your whole thing. Uh, you act silly, and in return, I throw balls at your head. It's a perfect system. Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, please still like me. Kingsley. Ugh. This is just sad. Hey. Hey there, buddy. It's Billy. Billy. I, I know it's Billy. Look, I, I really do like you, Billy. Um, You make me laugh, but... I understand if you don't always want to be silly. You, you know, I don't always feel like being bossy. If you want to become friends, I, I, I think I'd like that even more. Oh, really? Oh, me too, me too. Oh, and you know what? What? Yes, what? I've always wanted to have real friends to play with. Well, we, we are good friends here at the playground. What would you like to play, Billy? Oh, um, how about a game of catch? You know, we can throw the ball back and forth to show that we like each other. <laughs> oh, I'm the best at catch. Here, um, go long, Billy. Okay, I'm open. I'm open. Give <laughs> <laughs> me more. I want more. I want more. I want more. Okay. I'll get it. I'll go get it. Well, I like that. I love that. They're becoming real friends by taking the time to really get to know each other. It takes time to know all those thoughts and ideas and feelings that you can't really see just by looking at the outside. Your thoughts and ideas and your feelings, they don't have a color at all. Your thoughts and ideas and your feelings, can't see those at all. When you stand, when you fall, short, medium, or tall. Your thoughts and ideas and your feelings, you can't see those at all. Be proud of the way you look on the outside. 
Be proud of your hair, skin, and eyes. Be proud of the way you look on the outside. Sometimes we all laugh, and sometimes we all cry. Your thoughts and ideas and your feelings, they don't have a color at all. Your thoughts and ideas and your feelings, can't see those at all. When we stand, when we fall, short, medium, or tall, your important thoughts and your brilliant ideas and your precious feelings, they don't have a size and they don't have a shape and they don't have a color at all. Not like that. There's a color here. You know, but thoughts and ideas and feelings, they're kind of invisible. You can't really see them. But you can feel them and you can share them by spending time with one another. You know, and you can know that when you're spending time in person or through the screen, you never have to pretend to be something you're not to get people to like you. I've been thinking a lot about you. Yeah, and kids like you and your grown-ups and how we all use different types of screens like this one to share our thoughts and ideas and feelings. Yeah, sometimes you might share your thoughts and ideas and feelings with your family. Yeah, through Zoom and FaceTimes, screen times. Yeah, family and friends and, and your teachers, I bet, sometimes. Sure. And sometimes you might use a screen to watch a show like a favorite cartoon or a show like this one with people like me. Yeah. I think a lot about how sometimes on shows like mine, people will ask at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video for you to push a button to give a like. But I want you to know that when you're here with me and my friends and puppets on Danny Joe's Treehouse, you don't have to push a button for us to know that you like us. In fact, it's way more important to me that you know that I like you. And I really hope that you like you too. Yeah. So excited for tomorrow. Do you know why? Because I know you're going to be there. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later. Alligator, after a while, crocodile. It's not the end. My dear friend, I'm glad I got to spend this time with you. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later, gator. After a while, after a while, after a while. Crocodile. See you later. Like you. You know what? Sometimes I don't always feel bossy. I don't. I don't. Sometimes I feel very bossy. It's true. Yeah, but sometimes I just feel a little bossy. But mostly I feel extremely bossy. Yeah, I have lots of different feelings. Don't you? I'm here. I'm here. I'm running a little bit late, but I brought you something. I'll show you upstairs. Today, we're going to talk about commercials. You know commercials. Yeah, we're going to talk about how sometimes a commercial will try to sell you a thought, an idea, a feeling, or stuff that you get to choose. We'll talk more about it. I'll see you upstairs.
Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day, and nature is calling you. Hi, Ed kiddo. How are you today? I'm excited to see you. I brought you something in the high bucket, something for you to think about. Hi. Show you what I brought. Have you seen one of these before? It says, I heart teaching. I love teaching, and I do. I really do love teaching you. Do you know a teacher with a bag like this? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they will bring books inside to read at circle time, or games, or puzzles, all, all kinds of different things that teachers bring to their students. And I brought something in here that's going to help me tell you about a memory of mine something from a long time ago when I first started teaching preschool. It's right inside. Are you excited to see what's inside? Before I show you, before I show you, I want you to think about how you're feeling right now in this moment. As I'm reaching in to pull out what I brought you, how are you feeling? Are you excited? Are you curious? feeling is called anticipation. Anticipation. You're anticipating what's going to happen next. It's kind of like if you've ever been to a birthday party and you see a friend opening up a present, but you don't know what's inside and they're about to open it and reach in and you're like, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? That's called anticipation. You're anticipating. Me, 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 me. Who's coming? Everyone look at me. I think it's Kingsley. Yeah. We will look at what's inside, but I'm anticipating what he wants to say. I'm the boss of you, and I'm the boss of you. I tell you what to do, because I'm the boss of you. Ooh, hello. Singing that old song again, huh, Kingsley? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Well, you know, short little catchy songs that rhyme are a great way to get a person to do what you want. <laughs> Yay, me! Uh, am I interrupting something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to show something that I brought in my, my bag over there. Oh, ooh, what perfect timing on my part. I've got something in my bag, too. <laughs> I'm the boss of you. I'm the boss of you. I tell you what to do because I'm the boss of you. Well, actually, I'm the boss of me, and you're the boss of you, too. Do you remember how our song goes? Well, I guess I must have blocked it out. Well, re well, we will remind you. I'm the boss of me. I'm the boss of me. I take care of my mind and body because I'm the boss of me. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, you can let people know what you like and what you don't like. Ooh, well, I think you're going to like this. Ooh, you're going to love it. I got a surprise for you. And now, a word from our sponsor. Our sp sponsor? Yeah, yeah, you know, someone who gives you lots of money so they can sell stuff on your show. Sponsor? What did you do, King Kingsley? You know, friends, it's your old pal, Samuel Sweet Tooth. You know, if you're anything like me, I bet you're plumb tired of having to carry your sugar around in the palm of your hands. <laughs> it makes an awful mess. That's why I invented Sack of Sugar. Guaranteed to give you that vigor and vim to start your day the sweet tooth way. 
Uh, excuse me. Hi. Uh, please don't interrupt our show. Get beside, fella. The sugar won't sell itself. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. Um, Sack of Sugar gave me all this money so they could sell their sugar during the show. <laughs> you did what? Sack of Sugar sure is neat. So give yourself that sweet treat. That's sweet. Part of a nutritious breakfast. <laughs> Fruit is part of a healthy breakfast, but sugar isn't. It, it, especially not that much sugar. Please stop interrupting our show. I don't, I do not like these commercials interrupting our show, Kingsley. How dare you upset the sponsor? He paid me, uh, us, a lot of money to sell that sugar. Tree houses aren't cheap. You've got your, uh, you got your lumber, you got your paint, you've got, um, uh, tape, I assume, and shoe strings, and those lights, and that microphone, and, and that camera. Oh, yeah, the, the camera we use to record the show for the kids at home. Hi. Hello. Uh, you may bow to your king. <laughs> Kingsley, I don't like commercials interrupting our show. The kids didn't come to the treehouse to be sold sugar. They came here to learn and play. And, you know, that commercial really wasn't kid-friendly. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We've got lots of different kinds of commercials. Good? Good. Okay, I'm going to go count my... our money. <laughs> but first, a word from our sponsor. Uh -huh. Bye. Kingsley. Hi there. It's your old pal, Sweet Tooth. Here we go again. Sack of sugar is so neat. Give yourself a sweet treat. So wait, tee hee. It's another commercial. Oh, but this commercial is kid friendly. Why, I'm just a super cute character with big old eyes and a high pitched child's voice, which kids like way more than big old mean grumpy grown up voices. Tee hee hee. And I'm singing you a little song, except I call my song a jingle. Isn't that a sweet word? Jingle. <laughs> when I sing my jingle, it gets stuck in your head, and then you'll want to buy Sacco Sugar because of all the good feelings I'm giving you. Tee hee. That seems really tricky to me. Well, you sing little songs that get stuck in their heads too, pal. Yes, I do sing songs to kids, but I sing songs to teach them how to think, not just to get them to buy sugar. You got something against sugar? Kids like sugar. A little sugar every once in a while is fine. I, I use it to bake sometimes. But... Oh, I'm sorry. Were you still talking? Sack of sugar. Part of a nutritious breakfast. What? Commercials have a bunch of different tricks to get us to buy stuff. Sometimes they'll even get famous people that you know and like to help them sell their stuff. That's right, and you can take it from me, champ winner, four-time All-State Kickball Championship participant. <laughs> what? Why are you putting so much sugar in your can? Why, I am so glad that you asked. Did you know? that each can of sugar water from the good people that make Sacco Sugar contains not one, not two, not three, four or five, but 12 scoops of sugar. And I have been told to tell you that when I drink sugar water, it gives me the energy I need to play kickball. No, it doesn't. That much sugar is not good for your mind or body. Plain water is the best thing for your body, especially when you're playing sports. Okay, now he is correct on that point. Uh, water is much better for you when playing sports or really any any time, but I have been paid to endorse this product. Endorsing means saying that you like something to get others to try it. That's correct. And uh, the good people at Sugarwater have paid me a lot of money to endorse this here product. So now, because I am contractually obligated to do so, uh, I'm going to wipe my brow as if I've just finished playing an exciting game of kickball and I'm real thirsty, and then I'm gonna throw back this, this can of sugar water from Sacco Sugar. Here we go. Come on, champ. Oh, oh, 
that's sweet. Um. <laughs> that's real sweet. It's too sweet. Here, champ, have some water. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better. Champ, I hope you've learned an important lesson about being honest about what you like and what you don't like. Kids look up to you. You're, you're a role model. They're going to copy what you do. So what are you going to do next? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to go to Sack of Sugar Land. Woo! Okay, can I go home now? Because I'm done. Good to meet you. Good hustle, everybody. Thank you. I do not want to, I don't want to do that again, y'all. Good luck, champ. You know, the people that are in commercials have to make good choices, too. And so do the people that are making the commercials. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to our show. Hopefully, no more commercials are coming. You came here to learn and play, right? Hey, kids, now you can play along with your favorite cartoon, The Adventures of Sweet Tooth and Sugar Foot. Let's go on another adventure, Sweet Tooth. Sweet! Not so fast, Sugar Foot. No more sugar for you. Or any other children of the world. Mwah, ah, ah, ah. Not today, Bad Apple. Quick, Sugar Foot, use your sugar spout. <laughs> Sweet Tooth and Sugarfoot. Figures sold separately. Fruit not included. Part of a nutritious breakfast. <laughs> Whoa! These commercials are getting really tricky. I, I wasn't even sure if that was a commercial. I thought maybe it was a, a cartoon or something. And they weren't just selling us sugar. I, I think they were selling us toys too. We're, we're gonna have to start looking and listening very carefully to figure out what's a commercial and what's not. <laughs> Hey, what's up, fam? It's your boy Gamer coming to you live from the Sugar Sack. Shout out to my sponsor, Sack of Sugar, and the brand new energy drink experience, Sack of Sugar Extreme. Do, do, do. Sack of Sugar is so neat. So give yourself that sweet treat. Woo, that's sweet. <laughs> uh, is this a commercial? <laughs> Looks like we got our first comment from Dojo at Treehouse. He says, um, is this a commercial? <laughs> I'd have to say yes and no. I'm a real kid playing video games, and I'm extremely popular. Boo, boo, boo. Boo. So Sacco Sugar gives me that money to talk about and play with their products, like Sugar Water Extreme from Sacco Sugar. Boo, that's sweet. Thanks again to Sack of Sugar for sponsoring us. We're on hour 48 straight of live streaming Sack of Sugar's new VR experience, The Adventures of Sweet Tooth and Sugar Foot Retro Blast. Oh, the fruit looks so real, though. Sugar Blast. Sugar Blast. Ah. Mm, sweet. Wait, you've been awake for 48 hours playing a video game? You must be super tired. Looks like we've got another comment from Dojo at Treehouse. <laughs> yeah, no time to sleep, Dojo. You see, the more content I make, the more famous I become, and the more famous I become, the more money I make for me and my family. And sack of sugar, sack of sugar, energy drink stream. <laughs> Woo, sweet. Yeah, but are you happy? Yo, I'm getting paid to play play video games, so yeah, sort of. Don't you like video games? Well, sure. I like playing all kinds of different games, but people are more important than things. You're the boss of your mind and body, and there can be too much of a good thing. So anyway, I need to get to my next three videos before I have to go to school. <laughs> Woo, sweet! Uh. <laughs> but I am feeling a little bit burnt out from making all this content, so I'm just going to take a real quick... <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> sweet dreams, gamer. You seem like a sweet kid, huh? You know, it's important for people to make good choices. The people on this side of the screen and the people on that side of the screen, too. I still haven't shown you what's in the bag yet. My teacher's bag. 
You've been very patient. I'm very proud of you. All those commercials just kept interrupting, and all I wanted to do was show you what's inside the bag. Are you anticipating? What's inside? It's an apple! I love apples. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. My memory from when I was teaching preschool a long time ago was one day I was running late to school, just like I was running late to the show this morning. And I grabbed an apple from my counter at home and I put it in my teacher bag and I ran to school. And I got to school in time. Whew. And we welcomed all the kids to the classroom and we did our circle time and we read our book. And then we did free play, and some of the kids went to play in blocks, and some of the kids went to play in the art area, and some of the kids went to dress up to play pretend. And while they were playing, my tummy went... I was very hungry. My tummy was grumbling. So, I went over to my tote bag, and I decided to have my breakfast, because I didn't eat my breakfast at home. I was running late. And I reached in, I pulled out my apple, and I... Oh, I shined it up on my shirt. I took a big bite like this. Mm. Mm. It was so good. But when I turned around, you know what I saw? All of my preschool students, all of the kids, had stopped what they were doing and turned around and they were looking at me, eating my apple. And one by one, they started to say, I like apples. Can I have an apple too? D did you bring me an apple? We want apples. We want apples. I thought, oh my goodness. They weren't even thinking about apples until they saw me eating an apple and really enjoying it. And, and I did bring apples the next day. I didn't bring enough apples that day. But the next day, I brought some apples and, and some other fruit too so they could choose what they wanted. Yeah. But I realized that I had a big responsibility as their teacher. Yeah, they looked up to me, and they liked me. They trusted me, and they wanted to do what I was doing, and they wanted what I had. I wasn't trying to sell them the idea of eating a yummy apple. It just kind of happened. But it got me thinking. I thought, well, what if I would have pulled out a cookie for breakfast? Cookies are yummy. It might not be the best choice for breakfast, or a candy bar, or anything else. What would have happened? I kept thinking about that and thinking about that. It's a big responsibility. I wanted to make good choices so that my students would make good choices too. I'm the type of teacher that wants to teach children, like you, how to think for yourselves. Because mm -hmm. you're the boss of you. Today I brought an apple in my bag. Kingsley brought money in his little bag. And all those commercials, they brought sugar in their sack. Sack's another name for bag. What are you gonna bring? Yeah. What kind of thoughts and ideas are you going to bring? I bet they're gonna be great, because you're the boss of you. You get to decide. Very curious what you'll bring. I believe in you. I hope you believe in you too. You know that it's true. I believe in you. I believe in hope. And I believe in dreams. I believe that you can do anything. If you try, don't give up. I believe in you. I hope you believe in you too. You know that it's true. I believe in you. I hope you believe in you too. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Do you know why? Because I know you're going to be there. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later. Alligator. After a while. Crocodile. It's not the end. My dear friend, I'm glad I got to spend this time with you. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later, gator. After a while, after a while, after a while. Crocodile. Watch out for those commercials. Think for yourself. See you later.
I'm in outer space. I'm floating in anti-gravity. What are you doing? I'm pretending that I'm in outer space. Well, that sounds like fun. Can I do it too? Sure, you just move your body real slow and pretend like there's no gravity, nothing pulling you down to Earth. Oh, okay. How do I do it? Just kind of lift your hands up like this and move around like that. Okay, you do it too. Yeah, that's good. Weightlessness. I almost feel like I'm flying. I know, it's so cool. Hi! Today we're going to travel through time and space with the power of play. I'll see you up there. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day, and nature is calling you. Hi, kiddo. How are you today? Blast off. We're going to do some STEM. Have you heard grown-ups say STEM before? Yeah, it means S for science, T for technology, E for engineering, and M for math. STEM. And I like to throw some art in there, too, because I really like art. And then it becomes science, technology, engineering, art, math. Steam. They're all just different words for play, really. Yeah, play is a way to learn about the world around you, and you are really good at playing, which means you're really good at science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And I brought some stuff in the high bucket for us to make some steam. I got it from my recycling bin at home. Do you have a recycling bin? All kinds of good stuff. Oh, I got some paper. And I've got some cardboard and some tubes and this stuff. Have you seen this before? Sometimes people call it tin foil or aluminum foil. I love it. It's great. It's shiny. You can bend it into different shapes like that. When I was little, I would ask my grown-ups for some tin foil. I wouldn't just get it myself because the box that it comes in has a sharp edge and you can, you can get hurt if you're not careful. So ask your grown-up if it's okay. That's that's what I always do. But you can roll out some tin foil. Oh, a really big piece. Oh, there's a tube in there. I see you. You can do some steam with this too. You can play with this too. But what I used to do when I was little, and I was playing about science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, I would pretend I was a time traveler. I could travel through time and up in the stars in space. I would make a space helmet, a time space helmet. This is how you do it. Put it up by your head and you wrap it, wrap it around your head like that. Does it look cool? Pretty neat. And then you can, you can put stuff on it. Okay, I got some, some tape here. We're doing science, technology, engineering, art, and math right now. We're making some steam. Put an antenna. <laughs> I got some stickers. Put some stickers on here for buttons. Does it look good? I like making stuff like this. It's fun. 
Yeah. And if you don't have the fancy stickers, that's okay. You might, you might not have the same things I have. That's fine. You don't have to do it exactly the way I do it. Just play with what you've got. Make stuff up. Invent. Yeah, create neat stuff. This is something else I used to use. Tubes. I used to take a tube, get my safety scissors, cut a line right down the middle, like that. I used to put it on my wrist like this. And I would draw some buttons like that. And I would pretend that it was a communicator. Come in, come in, this is Captain Danny Joe. Can you read me? Can you hear me? Like a walkie-talkie. Yeah. Nowadays we have smartphones and smart watches to communicate, but when I was a little boy, we didn't have those yet. So we just pretended that we had stuff like that. Yeah. When you play pretend, your pretend play, if you work really hard at it, can become real in the future. Is that an exciting idea? The stuff that you play about today could become real if, if you work hard to make it real. Let's pretend we're calling the future right now. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Hello, this is Captain Danny Joe and my friends, and we want to know about the future. We want to know what's going to happen next. Come in, over. You say over. That means answer back. Over. Can you can you read me? Can you read? It's where, oh, it's my tin can phone. It's not this. It's my, I thought it was this. It's my tin can phone. Hello, this is Danny Joe. Danny Joe's Treehouse. How may I help you? Really? It's the future calling. They want to talk to you. Calling all cadets, calling all cadets. This is Captain Landis. I hope you will receive this urgent message that I send. My name is Captain Landis, and here's my robot friend. Traveling through space on technology and science, the intergalactic time-space alliance. We're being pulled off course, and I think we both agree it's a giant black hole in the center of the galaxy. I hope to counteract it, but we're running out of power. It's pulling us in, and it gets stronger by the hour. My spaceship runs on steam. My spaceship runs on steam. We need more steam to get back up on the path. Okay. Steam stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. It's important to the trip. This is the fuel that powers my spaceship. We can't go around it. We must go through it. This is the fuel, and you can help me do it. I am Captain Landis, and here's my robot friend. I hope you get this message, and until we meet again. My spaceship runs on steam. My spaceship runs on steam. Captain Lunar Landis really needs your help. Let's um, let's keep playing. Let's keep doing science, technology, engineering, art, and math, and let's let's travel down to the playground, and let's pretend that Captain Lunar Landis sends his steam bot, his robot sidekick, down to the playground, and all of the puppets work together to try to create some more steam and save the day, save the future. You ready? Taking out the recycling. Doodle doo -doo -doo. Ooh, I'm a really good boy. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Yay, me! I'm doing my chores. <laughs> Is anyone looking at me? Let's see here. We've got our paper. We've got a plastic. We've got aluminium. We've got a giant robot. A giant robot? Greetings! I am Steambot 5000. I come from the future. I have a message from Captain Lunar Landis of the Intergalactic Time-Space Alliance. Greetings. We come in peace. Beep, beep, peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Hey, Kingsley, you forgot one of the tubes. Oh, hello, uh, Pixie Bill. Uh, these are visitors from... Uh, where did you say you're from again? 
We come from the future. Ooh, they're from the future. What? Did you say the future? Affirmative. What? Affirmative means yes. They are from the future, Kingsley. Ooh, ooh, well, that's very exciting. Well, what did you bring me? Well, actually, we need your help. You see, our time spaceship runs on steam, and we are out of fuel. Oh, I know all about steam. That stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Affirmative. Well, sorry, but we don't have any steam here. All we have is the, um, well, the Royal Recycling. So, bye. No, wait, Kingsley. That's it. We can use the Royal Recycling to make steam. Oh, I don't know. Come on, Kingsley, it'll be fun. And we can help our new friends. Please, 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 please. Ugh. Okay. What are the instructions? Every action. Has an equal and opposite reaction. What? Make a booster rocket with the Royal Recycling. Attach a balloon, blow it up, and let it go. Each booster rocket can be different. Just be creative and work through each mistake until you find a solution. Once you're done, Jambot and I will attach the boosters to our time spaceship and blast off to the next adventure. Good. That sounds like a lot of hard work. And what if I make a mistake? Making mistakes is a very important part of making steam. If we work together and keep trying, I know we can make more steam for our time spaceship. Will you please join us for our next adventure? Affirmative. Great. Raise your eyebrows and repeat after me. I am the past, I am the present, and the future. I am a time space cadet. I am the past, the present, and the future. I am a time space cadet. Initiating montage sequence in five, four, three, two, one. A good morning, little bird. How are you today? Good morning, little bird. You're really on your way. I see you stretching your neck and opening up your eyes. Your grown-ups feeding you little worms and flies. Ooh la di a di you. Ooh la di a di a. With birds of a feather, practice makes better, and I'm so proud of you. Good morning, little bird. How are you today? Good morning, little bird. You're really on your way. I see you standing up tall and open up your wings. Your grown-ups feeling so proud that they begin to sing. Ooh la di a di you. Ooh la di a di a. With birds of a feather, practice makes better, and I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, cadets. Because of your hard work, we've made enough steam to get back to the future. Captain Landis, um, may I ask you a question before you leave? Of course, Cadet Kingsley. I love questions. They are the first step to finding solutions. Well, we, we've been talking, and every once in a while, we get a little nervous about the future. What will happen next? Yeah, what's the future like, Captain Landis? That's a good question. In the future, children and grown-ups play. We like to make things and tell stories. Sometimes we make mistakes, but we try again. 
Sometimes we disagree, but we try to listen to one another. Overall, it's a lovely time. And do you know the very best part? What? Yeah, what? The future is amazing because you're there. That's great. I'll allow that. Initiating countdown to blast off. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, we did it! We did it! We saved the day! They made the boosters. I imagine that that robot Twiddly dude back up into space and attached the boosters to the side of the rocket and they went on to the next adventure. What do you imagine? What do you think happened next? Yeah. Do, do you have the stuff to make a booster? Like what we made downstairs with the puppets? Tubes and, and cardboard, maybe some construction paper. It's okay if you don't, you might have different stuff. I noticed when Kingsley and Pixie Bell and Graham Cracker and Olive and all the other puppets were trying to make their boosters, they didn't look exactly the same. Everybody had a slightly different idea of how to make the booster work. And, and it didn't work right away, did it? Mm -mm. They made lots of mistakes. It didn't quite work and they kept trying and trying. You know, I'm, I, want, I want to try to make one. I've got a balloon, I've got a balloon here. Do you have a balloon at your house? If, if you don't, that's okay. You can come up with another way of making your, your booster blast off. Yeah, you just have to play around. Do that science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh well, that's how it goes. Just have to try again. Yeah, that's how it works. You make mistakes and you try again. You know, I've been hearing about a lot. Um, sometimes grown-ups have been saying, uh, falling behind. Have you heard that? Falling behind, like not being exactly where you're supposed to be with things like science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Yeah, I've heard that too, but I don't, I don't think you have to worry about it. Mm -mm. No, I think, I think we can't go back in the past. Like that's, that happened already. We can't go back to what happened before. That's done. We can remember the good stuff that we liked. We can have all of our good memories. And the things that didn't quite work the way that we thought they would, we can try again. Yeah. And then the future, well, no one can really travel into the future. Mm -mm. You have to wait to get there. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen next. We can play pretend about it. We can imagine. We can work hard to build the future, to make it what we want it to be. But we can definitely be right here together, right now. You and me. You're not falling behind. In fact, you're doing just fine. You're right where you need to be. It's true, you can take it from me. Like birds in the sky, kids that ask why. It takes time to grow. Bees that buzz, grown up say because. That's just the way it goes. Oh, you're not falling behind. In fact, you're doing just fine. You're right where you need to be. It's true, you can take it from me. Like stars in the sky, kids that try. From their heads to their toes. Have no doubt, we'll figure it out. So the story goes, oh, you're not falling behind. In fact, you're doing just fine. You're right where you need to be. It's true, you can take it from me. Cause I'm here with you and you're here with me. We're together right now in this moment. We can't go back to the way it was. No, nope. can't jump ahead to the future, but we can be together right now in this moment. We can work through stuff and have fun while we're doing it. That's what STEM's all about. That's what STEAM's all about. That's what play's all about. I'm excited for the future. Well, you know why? Because like what Captain Lunar Landis said, I know you're gonna be there. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later.
alligator after a while crocodile it's not the end my dear friend i'm glad i got to spend this time with you it's not goodbye it's just see you later gator after a while after a while after a while crocodile five four three two one Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you were old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day. And nature is calling you. What is this? Is it a... No, oh, that's not it. Is, is it one of these? No, 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 no. no, that's not it. Oh, is it a, is it a guitar? Oh, it's not a guitar. It looks kind of like a guitar. It's smaller though. Yeah, this is called a ukulele. When I come into my treehouse, I play my ukulele. Yeah, it's got four strings. One, two, three, four. I love my ukulele. And I know that many of you at home pretend to play along with me when I play my ukulele, don't you? I know some kids use things like wooden spoons. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? I know some kids use hairbrushes. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? That makes a good sound, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, there's lots of different ways to play pretend. Today, I brought something in my high bucket though. I thought we could do a craft together and I could teach you how to make your own ukulele. It's right here in my old high bucket. Hello. So you are going to need to get a cereal box. This cereal box I cut open and folded inside out because I wanted, to, wanted it to look brown like my ukulele. Your grown up can help you to do that. You just tape it back up and fold it together. So get yourself a cereal box and you'll need a paper towel tube. You have these around the house? Mm -hmm. And you'll need some crayons. I like my crayons. They come in handy. And you'll need some rubber bands. Boing, boing, boing. Those are fun. Yeah. Now you might not have the exact same things that I have. That's okay. You can come up with a different way to make your ukulele. Yeah, when you do a craft, you can do it however you like. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get out a crayon and we're going to make a circle because my ukulele has a circle in the middle of it. Right? That's 
Why am I making circles? Just like that. Then you're going to take your tube and you'll push it into the opening on the top like this. It already looks like a ukulele, doesn't it? But we want our ukulele to make some sound, so we're going to take our rubber bands. You have to be very careful. These are stretchy. We don't want them to snap you. Stretch it out. Ooh, it's already making a good sound. We'll put on four rubber bands because ukuleles have four strings. And if you don't have rubber bands, you could use some string or some yarn. You're a creative person. You can come up with your own ways. My rubber band snapped. That's okay. This ukulele can have three rubber band strings. Let's see if it works. It does. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. Are you going to make a ukulele today? I hope you do. Have fun. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. Hi, it's Teddy Bear. I wanted to get you something really special, um, but I don't have any money, so I couldn't buy anything. So instead, I made something for you. Mm -hmm. It's this next episode. I hope you like it. Hi, do you know what the word acceptance means? We're going to find out today up at the treehouse. I'll see you up there. Special things are happening. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day, and nature is calling you. Hiya, kiddo. How are you? Do you like our decorations? It's a very special day. Every day is a special day that I get to spend time with you. It's love and acceptance day. Do you know that word? Do you know acceptance? We'll talk more about it. We'll talk more about it. But for now, I want to show you how I made my decorations. I love the color purple. I'm going to make a ring to go with my paper chains. Take my safety scissors and be very careful. And I'm going to cut across the top and make a strip of paper. Just a thin strip like that. Now I'm going to fold it. And it becomes a ring, a circle. I'll stick it together with some paste. Paste on the end. Put my cap back on so my paste doesn't dry out. And very carefully, I will connect one end to the other. I think that's the thing that I like so much about rings and circles. There's not just one end to the other. Once you connect them, it goes around and around. There's no beginning. And there's no end, it just is. Hmm, you know what that makes me think of? My friend Erica Bridgeford. Do you remember Miss Erica? 
She's wonderful. Last time she was here, she was blowing bubbles. Love bubbles. Yeah, and her favorite color is purple. I think I might share this with her. That's what I want to do. Do you, do you hear that? Oh, <laughs> hi, how do you do? What's your name? Scrappy, Scrappy Squirrel. Nice to meet you, these are my friends. How are you, Scrappy? Uh-huh, uh -huh. I speak squirrel. I'll interpret for you. Uh-huh. He was, he was leaping from branch to branch and he overheard us making some craft projects and he wanted to see what was going on. He's a very curious and helpful squirrel. That's right, yes. Well, we were just making this ring, see. You like that? Yeah, I brought some other stuff too. You want to see what we brought today? You want to help? You want to help too? Let's see what's in the high bucket, okay? I think you're really going to like this. It's a... What is that? No, I know. No, there's nothing in the box yet. Well, <laughs> there's a reason why. See, uh, sometimes we just look at the outside and we can make a guess about what's inside. Yeah. But the only way we know what's really inside is by spending time with each other, slowing down and just being with each other. You understand? Yeah. So there's nothing in there now, but because we're spending time together, it will become filled in just a moment. Will you help me? Okay, we hold the box. Thank you very much. I want to send this downstairs because I know that Miss Erica, yeah, and her niece Charlie is coming and they're going to make some love and acceptance craft projects today. I know, it is exciting. And I think they might need some paste, glue stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in there good. Thank you. And some scissors. Yes, you do have to be very careful with scissors. That's right, I'll put these in there very carefully. Let's take this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now let's close it up. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, that's a good idea. We should tie it up with a string. And yes, I should definitely make a note. May I put you down for a moment so I can do that? Okay, here, you sit here for a minute. Got some string that will work perfectly. Tie this up in a neat little bow. I had to practice a lot to learn how to tie knots like this. There. That looks nice, doesn't it? And I'll make a note. Got some paper. I think I will use a purple crayon. Purple's my favorite color, and it's Miss Erica's favorite color. We have that in common. I know she'll like it. What should I write on my note? I, I'm going to write, will you accept? Will I L L will you Y O you accept A C C E P T question mark. It's a question. Will you accept? I should say who it's from. I'm gonna write love. Danny Joe. I'm going to make a heart, too. If you don't know how to make your letters yet, it's okay. You can always draw a picture for people, too. A heart. Shows that you love. You love the person. I do love Miss Erica and Charlie. 
put my note here. Okay, Scrappy, Scrappy, you ready? Will you please deliver this package for me? I want you to take really good care of it. Okay? Ready? Okay. Ooh, that is a fast squirrel. Let's follow him, see what happens next. make love and acceptance things today right yeah yes we're gonna make some what color you think you want to use today <gasps> ah scrappy it's oh what does scrappy have a box. a box what does it say it says will, will you, you accept accept mm. Mm. will we accept let's show them what do you all think we'll accept yeah, we're yeah. going to accept it. Okay, Charlie, open it up. Let's see what's in it. I'll hold the box. Something on the back. Something on the back. What does it say? Who is it from? Love, Danny Joe. Oh, Danny Joe sent it. That's so nice. Okay, so I'll hold the box and you pull the string. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we can open it. Now we can open it. Let's see. Scissors and glue. Scissors and glue. Just what we need is safety scissors and glue. And a glue stick. And a glue stick so that we can make the, the love and acceptance gifts. That is so nice. Oh, hello. It's Teddy. Oh, hi. Hi, Miss Terrica. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hi. I was, I was, I was crawling by and I heard, I heard someone say love. And yes. Something else. I didn't know what it was. And acceptance. Except, what is it? Acceptance. What's that? You know what love is? Like, who, who are people you love in your life? My mommy and my sister. Yes, your mommy and your sister. And you love me, right? Yeah. Because I'm your favorite aunt yeah. ever. Yeah. <laughs> right? So we know what love is. And acceptance is even if you don't like something, you still say yes. You're not going to try to stop it from happening or stop it from being. You're letting it be free to be whatever it is, right? And you're accepting it. So we want to accept people, Right, we want to accept the way people are naturally, like however they are, we accept that, right? So we accept like we accept. We say yes to your hair and your pretty skin and your yes. earrings and your jacket and my nub. We say yes to my nub. Yes. So that's what acceptance is, that even if you don't like it, you don't try to stop the person from being free, right, to be how they are. Is that true for teddy bears, too? Yes. Oh, yes, no, 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 for teddy no, 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 bears. I'm accepted. You are absolutely accepted. You're yes. accepted. I am absolutely accepted. Well, you're accepted, too, Charlie. We're yes. all accepted. We're all accepted. Oh, good. Okay. We are accepted. Hey, yes. Uh, what, what you doing with all this stuff? What are we doing? We're making something. What yes. are you making? Love and acceptance gifts. Oh. Yes. Can I help? Yes. You can help. Oh, good. But I, you know, I get a little frustrated sometimes because I'm, I'm still learning how to use things like safety scissors. You have to be oh, really careful. You do have yeah. to be careful. And the paste scissors. always gets stuck on my fur. Mm, we don't want that. No. Well, no. But can I learn how? Can I practice with you? You yeah. can. Okay. So you can use a crayon. Charlie, you want to yeah. give Teddy a crayon? Yeah, you can just put it in front of me. Okay. Let's okay. put one crayon. Which one you want to put? Blue. Okay. Oh, we'll that's say one of blue my favorite in front colors. Of Thank you, Charlie. Nice. Thank you. Right there. Right there. And then, how about I use the scissors? Oh yes. And nice. you use the glue. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's do it. Let's We're make some love We're gonna have so much acceptance. fun making love and acceptance gifts.
Yeah. Who yes. are you going to give it to? We're going to give it to them. You think yeah. so? Yeah. Let's give these papers to them. Let's see. Let's show it to them. So you can show them and, and describe yours. Turn it around so they can see and show them. Tell them what's on there. So what it? Well, I'll hold it for you. And what's on there? Let's look at it like this. Yeah. I'll put mine down. What do, you, what do we have here? Cards. At the background, we got the sky and the sun again. Come over and my mommy. Nice. And grass. And grass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you can show them mine and I'll explain it. Okay. okay All right. So I have one big heart with all kind of little hearts bursting around it. And they're all different colors because we're all different. And even as one person or one teddy we yeah. feel different sometimes yeah. right i don't yeah. always feel green sometimes i feel more orangey sometimes i feel more more blue sometimes i feel more black and black is beautiful and feels and good yellow. too and yellow right? right so that's why i had the different colors and or then purple. and purple you know purple is my favorite or red red yeah and so the words say acceptance is love yeah because even if you don't like it you can still accept it and let yeah. somebody be who they are and that makes them feel loved acceptance yeah. is love yeah that's right it's really good these are really good so we're going to send these to you all will you accept i like that mm -hmm. do you feel accepted I accept you. I accept you. Yeah. You're welcome here. Does that feel good? It feels good to accept people just as they are, exactly as they are in this moment. Mm -hmm. I made this. Remember when I made this? They made things downstairs. You can give presents to show your love. You can. But if you don't have the stuff to make a present, that's okay too. Just being with the people that you love and accepting them, that's enough. That's how you can celebrate Love and Acceptance Day every day. It's not goodbye, it's just see you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. It's not the end, my dear friend, I'm glad I got to spend this time with you. It's not goodbye, it's just see you later, gator, after a while. After a while, after a while, crocodile. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it, and we'll see you again real soon. See you later.